What's up everyone, welcome back to Fish Hex. As of three days ago, this tank is now six months old. So, I actually am gonna show you guys some of the growth that's going on, and uh, I lowered the blue lights down pretty much almost to they're all the way off, just to you know try to help with that, help with that glare that keeps coming up on the video. Um, I hope that makes the quality a little bit better. I don't really know how the corals are gonna pop on video, but uh, we'll see. Basically, we're, gonna, we're just kinda judging growth. A color isn't something you're going to really pick up on the camera anyways you don't really appreciate the coral color until you're actually in person but other than that um let me go over some of the stuff that's happened um over the last month i have started dosing the uh kz coral vitalizer every morning once i get back from the gym right before the lights come on the blue lights come on i actually dose uh, 10 to 12 drops of uh this stuff and i do it every day consistently and i've definitely noticed some serious polyp extension especially on the uh, cat's paw and um the green bird's nest is definitely really fluffy um i'm seeing a lot of growth a lot of new growth not only in coralline algae on the bottom of the tank but also um, plating corals seem to be growing uh doubling their size and like every day you can see that they're growing um and uh I've also changed my dosing up. I've I've added a significant, uh, significantly more um, calcium and alkalinity on a daily basis, and I think that's definitely helping um, because for a little while there I had uh, some serious alkalinity issues, like just plummeted every day, every day, and I just kept boosting and boosting it, testing it a few days later, um, which I usually don't do. I usually only do uh, test once a week, but it was kind of getting me how my pH. I mean, I know the tank is aerated, but the pH wasn't right. And um, growth wasn't doing that, doing it wasn't growing as well as it should have. So I upped the dose quite a bit, and um, and then just everything just took off. It's like I just found a happy medium, and now everything is just taking off and growing very, very fast. Now you got to remember this tank is only six months old. Everything you see in here with the frag, it was a stick. If the bird's nest, it was two sticks. Um, the pink bird's nest was just less than uh, less than the size of a quarter. I mean that red monty in the middle, man, that was less than a, that was about the size of smaller than a half dollar so everything is growing super fast and um everything just looks great and it's happy especially as the blues come on after the full day of just kind of being open i mean out there growing and and soaking up the light uh, once the blues come on the tank just kind of like it's just this big fluff ball with, and i think that has to do with the coral vitalizer regardless um that's the only thing i've changed besides upping the dosing and it's definitely making a huge difference so Let's get into it. Let's go through. We'll start on the left-hand side. Let me just get the camera here off the tripod. We'll start over here. I'm shut this other door. So let's start on the back here. Get Duncan Coral. I had to remove. I had to move this guy over here. Uh, this kind of pour up because he just got too much flow. He didn't want to come out. I gotta get rid of that pulsating zine, man. That shit's gotta go. What's up, Zay? Get moving. And then these two, these two plating, the green plating Monty and the red, those guys are just kind of doing their own thing back here. I forget all about them because they're back there. That's that cat's paw. Green bird's nest. Getting some new heads, my Aiken. If I can get around that fish. Brain coral, their SPS. And then that was the size of that, uh, I mean, that's the... Uh, it's about the size of a baseball now, and that one was only a size of a, of a half dollar maybe. It was really small, that uh, pink bird's nest. That only had two heads. I don't know how many's on there now. Definitely a lot. Still got to move that coral in between the leather. I got to move that. That's got to go. My rug is, is rugging. It's definitely getting bigger. Looks kind of cool. I hope I like it, you know, for just keeping green star polyps around. Now, those two clownfish host that in that, that uh, coral there. And uh, they feed it every time food gets in the tank. The first thing they do is drag it in there, and he soaks it up. Um, and luckily, he, you know, the fish that they put in there, that uh, the eel comes and takes it out, just because I don't think he's going to do well trying to digest that. Uh, Zoanthid rock here. I guess a different color in that. Another pink bird's nest. I have uh, two. I have a green digitata and a red digitata growing together. Bird's nest again. I gotta move the acro on the top because he's gonna get smothered. Green, purple, and red Montes growing together. Uh, I gotta. Let's see here. Ophelia section. 
These guys are pretty cool. I do have some pulsing zini in the back, which I don't mind if it's back there. It's not a big deal. It doesn't bother me. My very for first coral right there, man. Can't believe I still have him. I mean, he went through some crap learning how I learned how, when I was learning this system, man. He went through a lot of junk. Um, that torch coral was dead when I got it. Just about had only a few stems coming out of it. Now it has uh, five or six heads, so it's definitely rocking. More Monty. You know, I'm a you know I love Monty and Green Bird's Nest. I would like to get rid of the Green Bird's Nest. I'm not a big fan of it anymore, but the Monty's got to stay. There's Zay again. And then this guy. He's gonna have to go soon because he's stinging everybody, and this is all this rock cannot be covered in any frags because his stinger tentacles come out like here and just sting the shit out of everything. Hence the reason why uh, nothing's growing over here because it keeps getting stung. So, unfortunately, buddy, you were one head when I got you. You're a lot now, but you are gonna have to go soon. Frag rack, which I just got. Now, this, I haven't done a water change uh, in three weeks, haven't scraped the glass since then, and I think uh, I'm going to be doing a water change tomorrow because I'll get into maintenance here in a second, but um, I'm not going to do the back glass this time, I'm going to let it go. Um, that's it there. Uh, red Sea color program, still rocking that. Dosing's still good, I have to fill these up three times a month now. My biopel reactor, you see it's not moving very well. Uh, it's definitely getting clogged over here. Or remember how I said before how the pipe gets clogged. So tomorrow during the water change, we'll be cleaning that. We'll be tossing a crap ton of this shadow tomorrow because that is it's full. It's got to go. But other than that, guys, that is the update. I appreciate you watching. And um, hopefully lowering the blues made the video quality a little bit better. Um, other than that, let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to see anything, let me know. Appreciate you watching and like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Until next time, peace.